Hello again, and welcome to part two of the beginner's guide to the bulletin board, where we take a look at the way data on the bulletin board is organized. Now, all the specific data like gas flows, facility specifications, and so on, are reported according to facilities and zones. So in this video, we're looking at the way facilities and zones are defined on the bulletin board, and then how that flows on to some of the specific reports. There are three types of facilities that report data on the GBB. Production plants, pipelines, and storage facilities are collectively referred to as either plants or facilities, and these words are often used interchangeably. Most pipelines on the bulletin board have lots of connections, a handful of towns, a gas-fired power station, big industrial customers, and often enough, also a big city. But the flows on all these connections are not reported individually on the bulletin board. Instead, the flows are aggregated into groups of connections called zones, and reported as a sum of all the flows from the facility into that zone. Reports like the capacity outlook on the GBB require information by plant only because this information isn't specific to a particular zone, but gas flow data is specific to both the plant and the zone. As a result, most pipelines on the bulletin board typically report to more than one zone, so a given pipeline will submit flows for each of the zones that it delivers gas to. The most common type of zone is the demand zone. As the name suggests, these zones typically capture gas delivered to be consumed in that demand zone. But after a change to the national gas rules in October 2016, plants also report gas that they receive at demand zones. At production zones, production facilities don't report their flows to separate pipelines, but instead they report the total amount delivered to the relevant production zone. After the October 2016 rule change, pipelines also report their own deliveries and receipts at the production zone. Some demand zones on the bulletin board have the same name as the pipeline that delivers to them. For example, the Moomba to Sydney pipeline system reports to a zone called the Moomba to Sydney pipeline system. For the sake of these videos, we'll call them pipeline demand zones, even though they're really just a demand zone. Gas delivered to a pipeline demand zone is typically a measure of the demand of the pipeline as a whole, rather than at a particular location. But there are exceptions. The bulletin board procedures define the flows that are included in each zone, so when you analyze flow data, the zone definitions can be very handy. They also specifically mention any flows that are excluded, but these are usually connections to other pipelines rather than sources of demand. You can find the bulletin board procedures under the bulletin board information tab and under the procedures and guides section. The procedures, together with part 18 of the national gas rules, determine the reporting obligations for each facility type and also detail the circumstances under which a given facility is exempt from reporting. If you'd like to know more about the bulletin board's data, have a look at the other videos in this series, or you can always get in touch with us through the AEMO support hub. Please note that the information in this video is covered by the terms of use on the AEMO gas bulletin board. Go to the gas bulletin board at this link to see the most up-to-date information. 